The Soul F85 and the Peloton Tread have Z-shaped frames, touchscreen displays, and black and red designs, but the differences are a lot bigger than what you can tell at a glance. Welcome to TreadmillReviews.com. I'm Kaylee and I'm a biomechanist, AKA someone who studies how the body moves. And I'm also a longtime runner. I put a lot of miles on the Soul F85 and the Peloton Tread. So I'm happy to give you my expert take on how these two treadmills stack up. Just looking at these treadmills, you can see several similarities. Once you run on them, you'll also notice a similar firm underfoot feel. Yet the Peloton Tread and the Soul F85 are quite different in the type of training content they offer, the features available on the console, and most importantly, the requirement of a training subscription. We'll get more into each of these differences and more in just a moment. We're so happy to help you along in your treadmill shopping journey. If you're looking for more reviews, consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel. The support of our audience allows us to review the products that we do, we have even more reviews available on treadmillreviews.com for you to check out, including individual write-ups on each of these machines. Peloton made the Z-Frame popular, and Soul quickly followed in their footsteps with their own take on the design. The Tread's design has much longer handrails with a velvety texture. The uprights are thinner, but the crossbar between the handles reinforces the console. The Soul F85 treadmill is a little bulkier with thicker uprights, and it also has a crossbar between the handles. But the handles are a textured plastic, so it doesn't feel quite as premium as the tread. The F85 has a higher weight capacity at 375 pounds versus the Peloton's 300 pound capacity. However, if we put functionality aside for a moment, the Peloton triumphs with a better appearance. But if you're treadmill shopping, you probably aren't just looking at the appearance of these treadmills. The Soul F85 is a folding treadmill, while the Peloton Tread is not. The F85 has four transport wheels and can be pushed around when folded, but the Peloton has to be lifted by the back of its deck onto its two front transport wheels. For most users, it will be best to find either of these treadmills a permanent location. However, if necessary, the Soul F85 is better for transport and storage. The Peloton Tread is priced at a premium, but it falls short of the Soul F85's performance metrics. The Tread's motor is only 3 horsepower compared to the F85's 4 horsepower motor. The incline range of the Peloton Tread is 0 to 12.5% compared to the F85's approximately negative 5 to 12% range. As for speed, the Peloton Tread comes out just barely ahead of the Soul F85, with a 12.5 mile per hour max compared to the F85's standard 12 mile per hour max. Moving on to the treadmill decks, they both have a step up height of about 8 inches. The F85 has a 22 inch by 60 inch running deck, and the Peloton Tread has a 20 inch by 59 inch running deck. Larger users may appreciate the increased width of the F85, but the length isn't that different. The Peloton Tread's motor is located below the deck, so there's no motor hood to run into, which makes the functional length of the tread potentially better than the F85. It weirded me out at first not to have a motor hood fencing in the front of the deck, but I quickly got used to it. There's practically no chance of stepping off the front of the deck unless you have super long legs and are trying to do so. Overall, I like both treadmills but I feel that the Peloton Tread lacks some of the features I expect from an expensive treadmill. The Soul F85's value is a bit more obvious to me. Both of these treadmills have a lot of exciting features, but I have a quick way to differentiate them. The Peloton Tread's features are mainly behind the subscription paywall, while the Soul F85's are included in the treadmill's price. The one non-subscription feature on the Peloton Tread that really stands out to me is the speed and incline knobs. 
These controls and their centered jump buttons are by far the best speed and incline controls I've tried on a treadmill. I don't even miss that the tread doesn't have physical quick adjust buttons. The F85 speed and incline switches and quick adjust buttons are some of my least favorite controls. They work, but they are a weakness to the F85. When it comes to tech, Peloton dominates. The speaker quality and the screen quality are better than the Soul F85s. But again, you are roped into Peloton subscription. If you unsubscribe, the Peloton tread has practically nothing to offer to you. The Soul F85 screen and speakers are by no means bad. Its screen size is just 15.6 inches compared to the Peloton Tread's larger 23.8 inch touchscreen. The Peloton Tread screen also raises with the treadmill as it inclines because the console is attached to the deck. This keeps the viewing level on the Peloton Tread a lot more comfortable. Both treadmills connect with Bluetooth heart rate monitors and headphones. They both have two cup holders, and the Soul F85 has two additional small item compartments. The Soul F85 also has a tablet rack, so it definitely offers more storage than the Peloton Tread. The Peloton Tread's console is very minimalistic, so it doesn't leave room for features like wireless charging or screen mirroring like you find on the Soul F85. The F85 also has EKG pull scripts for a secondary heart rate monitoring option for those who do not already have compatible heart rate monitors. All right, let's get into the on-screen content to see what else these treadmills offer. The Soul F85 does not require a subscription, so not only is it more affordable than the Peloton Tread, but it's going to save you even more money in the long run. The F85 puts subscriptions you may already have to good use. It has entertainment apps for YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video, Disney+, Max, Peacock, Hulu, Spotify, ESPN, CNN, and Audible. The Tread has Disney+, Max, Netflix, YouTube TV, and the NBA app, but you need a Peloton subscription to access these apps. The Soul F85 has so many training options. There are classes from the Soul Plus app, which can be accessed right from the screen. They don't automatically adjust the speed and incline, but they are studio instructor-led classes. The KinoMap app is a swift competitor with virtual training and structured workouts. You can screen mirror any app you would like to the touch screen for easier viewing. So you can even pair Zwift with the F85 to track your pace. So it's an excellent choice for this feature. I've also accessed more classes from the Soul Plus app on my phone, as well as used iFit and Peloton to train on the F85. Aside from the smart options on the F85, you have preloaded interval workouts and fitness tests. You can follow along with these while using the entertainment apps or view the manual training screen. Lastly, you can create your own custom workout or save a previous workout to repeat it in the future. Now for Peloton. There's no doubt that Peloton has one of the best training services. The coaches are fun and upbeat. I really enjoy the style of running that Peloton uses because it's not something I've done that often as a competitive runner. It basically takes the same concepts from studio cycling and applies them to running. I really enjoy it and the rest of the content on the Peloton app. I use strength training classes to supplement my running almost every week. The Peloton tread speed does not adjust automatically with the classes, but you can allow the incline to automatically adjust. In addition to those entertainment apps that I've already mentioned, Peloton has lane break for the treadmill. This game is super fun. You navigate to different lanes by adjusting your incline level to earn more points. I haven't seen much gamified training content from the treadmill, so it's awesome that Peloton has found a fun and safe way to implement this. The only reason that the Peloton Treads content isn't so much of a plus for me is because I can watch it on the F85 too. I can follow all of the same classes on the F85 with the screen mirroring feature and then cancel if I decide that I want to try something different. Then none of the treadmill's functionality is lost. To wrap everything up, I also want to cover the deck cushioning. Neither of these treadmills is soft or bouncy. They're quite firm, which is great for runners and walkers trying to prepare for outdoor training, but not so good for anyone who wants to lower their impact. I prefer the Soul F85 to the Peloton Tread because it's the better value treadmill. It has decline, it folds, and it does not require subscription. The weight capacity is better. There are more entertainment apps and features. 
But if you go with the F85 over the tread, there are a few features you might miss, like the better screen quality and speaker quality, the better aesthetic, and the phenomenal training content. I mean, it's really just a tough choice. I hope this comparison helped you in your decision. I have individual video reviews on both of these treadmills and written reviews on each of them. Be sure to check those out in the description if you want more details on these machines. We will also link to these treadmills so you can check out their current pricing. And if you decide to buy a treadmill, using our link helps support our channel at no extra cost to you. I'm Kaylee from treadmillreviews.com and thanks again for watching.